two, one, go. I don't know how loud this will be. Let me know if it's too loud. PS4 just turned on? That's weird. Wait, was that the video? Peggy 18. Yeah, confused. I've already watched a lot of footage of this game um, in terms of like the cutscene stuff, but this is the first time we're getting like a full gameplay one. Ghost of Tsushima. So. Combat, customization, special modes. Customization. First, let's take a look at how you explore. I don't know if that's real customizations or if it just means character customizations. Man, this is going to be a pretty game. Exploration has been. This is what I was talking about. Where this is this is one of those games that it's like you can tell it's just pre exploration pre the PS5 because it's already doing so much. So we it looks so good. Ourselves. How can we let the island guide? Oh, thanks for the host, Genki. In the most thematic and immersive ways possible. Go open mix surface from free sparks. Nice. <laughs> so you can spam them out above everyone else. I don't think anyone's used sparks this week. So, wait, is this an open world game? I thought this was set pieces. I think this might be an open world game now, which is now yeah, taking me by surprise. Or is he following the wind? Well, if it's a Western game, gotta have to be an open game, open world game. <laughs> That'd be popular if you're not open world. So if you've, if you've never seen this game, uh, basically it's uh, set in Japan during the period that the Mongols invaded. Um, yes, they did invade Japan. <laughs> um, and it's not a, a period that's particularly covered a lot in too many media. Uh, it's very much a raw samurai era, like, so it's, don't expect like refinement and stuff like that. It, it's, I don't believe the, it, like guns and anything like that. I don't think that was anywhere close to being um, set up. I believe that they probably already had their gunpowder from uh, Chinese at that point. Um, from battles they'd had with China. I think that rockets and stuff do exist, but... So, okay, this this game is just... This is Red Dead. Uh, I really hadn't expected it to be like this. It's kind of taken me by surprise. Mongol territory. The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game. Like this farmstead that's been taken over by the mongols. Okay, so there's objectives and stuff like that. So at least it's not you just just rock up and then you got nothing to do. Or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know? Oh, this is exist? this is just yeah, this is really Keep surprised me. Keep your eyes peeled for other I, visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your. I wonder attention. if the, there's a full night day cycle. I wonder whether or not there's weather and stuff because it's kind of very. What they're showing right now looks like a very sort of overcast, old day. Or early in the morning. Music. Oh. I'm going to fall in love with the soundtrack, aren't I? Oh, little bird. You have a connection with nature. Follow the bird. This dude. Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Yeah, I'm curious because is this 
Is this actually going to be... Is there going to be any spirits, magic, or anything like that? I thought this was meant to be very raw, very fixed in reality type of game. But... Very dark scene. Oh no, there's a crafting system. I saw the iron before, but I hadn't quite clicked. Uh, are we crafting stuff or is there crafting for like a, a person? <gasps> this might be the greatest game ever. Calling the fox. Oh, please tell me you get to interact with the fox. He's not hunting it, he's just following it. Another shrine. Oh, no! Oh my god, I love this game. This game is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, you pray at Nari shrines. That's amazing. I love this so much. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox <gasps> trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, okay, best game. game. You get to pat foxes. The it's the best game. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hat on it. Lord Sakai, that you. Did that guy just go? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Oh wow, oh, I just want to explore this world. So they worked with Japanese devs to develop this. Um, Sony got a hold of some people and all that, and it's like, it, it they did it justice. It, this this feels like Japan. It doesn't feel like Hi. a Western interpretation of Japan. This is Sucker Punch. Now we just showed yeah, you like, some exploration. If you don't know, Sucker Punch is a Western check dev, out so. Combat. Oh, you, wait, look, he's full samurai armored up. We've only ever really seen him doing combat in light ninja-like armor. So... Sick. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Oh, yeah. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me! You said two, there's like five there. Wait, is he actually just going to duel one? Wow, the other, they're only going to have... Okay. Interesting. So sometimes you have duels, I guess. Wow, that seemed very easily. Wait, hang on. Is this the combat? Is that... Is that... Is it really just quick strikes? At times? Oh, the combat might be a little basic. Please show me some better combat, please. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting. Can he use his bow? No He's wasted gonna energy. Stealth, probably. Every strike must count. Oh, you can deflect arrows. Oh, it's kind of Batman combat? Oh, yeah, it's Batman combat. Okay, alright. I kind of thought it might be the case when I they originally were doing like, the trailers and stuff, but it was always hard to say. Nah, okay. This, okay, so this is going to be hard to tell until you get hands on, I feel like, what it's kind of going to feel like. You should just kill... Yeah, just go get rid of the archers so you don't have to be deflecting arrows continuously. But I don't really understand these moons. Are they going to explain the system down below? Or are they just going to show it off? Alright, so it's going to do stealth now. Same here. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. 
But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the Dishonorable Ghost. As the Ghost, he'll use ghost. every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Even using fear as a weapon. Oh, uh, look, see, there was a standoff thing. But he forced the standoff by pressing up on D-pad, but this time he's now stealthing in. Guy uh, who can see him, who is about to see him. It's just, it's just generic uh, stealth. It's like anything crazy. Bow has a nice thud to it. Do you notice that everyone's getting like lifted off the ground when they get hit by the arrow? This feels like a, a, a game made for people who have watched a lot of old war uh, Japanese movies. Oh, we're talking about gunpowder, there we go. I feel like they would have alerted the entire camp, not just those two dudes, but whatever. <laughs> Slaughter? There's a dude in full samurai armor. Prepped a smoke bomb. Okay, saw him. Smoke bomb. And you get a critical hit, so that's good for armored guys, I guess. But now he's in a stealth form of combat. Well, I think you've stuffed up your stealth, bro. Wow. Oh, hang on. He scared everyone. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Seems like a pretty cool system. I wonder what triggers the fear. I'm not sure at what point it did. Did it was it killing the general? It was in the armor or the big ass ship. <laughs> oh please tell me you can set the boat on fire. I really want to play this. Oh, I, I really, really want to play this. This might be my most looked forward to game for this year. That was so symbol. There's been a couple of symbols that have popped up on screen that they haven't interacted with, and I'm not quite sure what they do, because that looks like a break or... Hold to ignite. There we go. Set the boat on fire. Oh, what? Dude, they didn't even look at it. Oh, wow, that didn't look fantastic. <laughs> That's why they didn't look at it. Wait, is this... Oh, it just plays out a full, like, burning custody. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's how that works in the game, where you just sort of, like, you set fire to it, and then it just, like, cut to, everything's on fire! You might have I'm playing this in Japanese for sure. Samurai, I I really want to play Zoro. Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because cool. the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. Yeah. Okay. It's not just the way it looks. Yeah. Okay. It so it's just a, it's an a, it's an RPG. You we we understand the concept of RPGs. The Customizing your armor doesn't. Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your it's always funny when they explain in video game new tech demos and reveals and blah blah blah. It's like, into the yes, ghost. we've played video the game before. Is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them, and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you oh. get to choose you have how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. <laughs> Gonna run into the tree, bro. Photo mode. Oh, now. We're, we're next gen now. Be a Haven't seen this a million billion times. 
and our new photo mode, we have features such as color Some people grading, really, depth really field, love photo so modes. Focus on the right objects. Like we have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement. I mean, so great uh, as a game. content creator, now I should probably be really speed. getting into these. You can change but, uh, particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. Yeah, I feel like um. You can even select a track of music from our original score. That might <laughs> oh, be a you could just, it, you'll just, so it's straight up like photo, making cuts from a movie. A That's video, pretty cool. Something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. All right, this, this is a pretty good photo mode, I guess. But still, it's just a, a funny thing. Japanese voice actor. We already got this trailer. Is it the same trailer? It looks like the, the same one. The Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. Yep. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene Are you going to fix starts, the Are you going to fix the mocap for the mouth? Because it's still super weird seeing Japanese faces, mouth English words, and have Japanese come out of them. I couldn't even tell. I, 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 it's hard to tell from that scene. What was this? Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of samurai cinema. We wanted to create a way for you no, to create your, what? Plan, your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, <laughs> film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Oh shit. Oh, this is so good. It kind of makes me want to play the game through once in normal mode and then a second one in this mode. Do you know what's funny? Because it's it's so high res that that kind of takes it away from it like feeling like an old movie. Like there's so much detail on the screen. Because they've sort of added the grainy effect. That was an, uh, that, that was nice. So the grainy effect actually responded, I think, to the lighting change, or maybe not. Because that that's one of the things is that stuff is like it's the yeah. It, it does look kind of weird because it's the fact that it's such high resolution. But uh, I appreciate it. I think this is fun. Today oh. we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai. So it, that used, it looks like you have a point system for doing Customized attacks. Gin. I don't know, but it seemed to be we'll not consuming the points. Ways. I don't really understand. But we have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll oh my God, I'm so excited. I really can't wait to play this game. Very cool. This is this is what I wanted. I I hope this this is a game that has some meat on the bones. But if it just means I can just explore a world like that, I might just be happy with that alone. Even if the combat is a bit dull. Um, but yeah, can't wait. So I don't know if there's really other many other big titles coming out throughout the year, but um. Yeah, I kind of feel like this will be the one that Sony will be pushing a bit before the PS5. Like this is a like this is a good one to have the console generation end on. Like it looks nice, and I think it has a good vibe, and I think it'll sell decently well. There's a funny thing with like samurai games and Japanese games because it's like it's sometimes like you have this thing where it's like. Some people just instantly turned off. It's like, oh, no, I'm not playing that. It's it's not a it's not like set in America. It's not a real life one. But there are a lot of people like me that are very old school, like uh, dubbed movie buffs that really enjoyed things like this. That I kind of just I hope it does well. I hope this sells well. It presents well. I think it looks, I don't know if it necessarily looks fun fun, it looks a bit generic at times, but I definitely can't wait to see more and get my hands on this dang game. 